Chaos outside the courtroom, families colliding while grieving unimaginable loss, all coming to a head as a suspect in a crash that killed five people faced the judge. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live outside the Sacramento County Jail tonight where it all went down. Marley. Yeah, Elizabeth and Tony, you could see and hear the pain out here as grieving families were forced to face each other in court out here, clashing in chaos that ended with at least one grieving family member in handcuffs. He was taunting us. Anger and upset coming to a head outside the courtroom. <laughs> Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies rushed in to break it up as more than a half dozen people piled on top of each other. Emotions boiling over after 28 year old Cameron Garcia faced a judge accused of driving under the influence when an SUV hit a tree on Highway 160 last week, killing five people four of them teenagers. Well, he's very sad and depressed over what has happened. Uh, you know, that's been a significant loss of life, family and friends to him that he was very close with. Garcia's attorney telling us he's remorseful. CBS 13 discovered it's not the first time he's been in trouble with the law. Criminal records show he was sent to prison twice, serving more than a half a decade, a fraction of his sentences for two burglary convictions, now facing several charges, including vehicular manslaughter while driving intoxicated and accused in a carjacking after the crash. And that fool, a nephew took it in his house. And let him live there and let him thank him. Family members of Monty Nunn, one of the victims, tell CBS 13 Nunn and Garcia had been friends for years and even lived together. Nunn's Aunt Franchelle Brown says Garcia's family had been taunting them. Tension from incredible loss ending in a courthouse confrontation spilling out onto the street. Because he was threatening us and he was taunting us. And I knew my brother was going to flip off his leg because this is his son. That's my brother's only son, his only son. Oh, so much grief out here that you can definitely understand. I talked with the sheriff's office. Everyone was released. No one will face charges in the fight outside the courthouse here today. I also talked with Garcia's sister who says her family has faced threats since the crash. She says they are grieving as well, considering Garcia's niece was also a victim in the crash.